Okay, welcome back. Welcome back to CoinFest, to the Ash stage powered by ICP. We're having this wonderful, wonderful uh, chatty talks and broadcasting it globally to our startup grind audience. And we have a amazing human being called Jeremy that leads a company called Boston Trading. And they do something fantastic. Imagine like a VC fund goes into a portfolio management company and they just manage their their portfolio, but what they're doing is they're doing crypto assets. Did I get it right, Jeremy? Basically, oh. that's not working. Okay. Yes. Whoa, that's very loud. <laughs> we can All hear right. you definitely clear and loud. <laughs> yeah. So like a stock mutual fund, but with crypto inside. So diversified, lots of different crypto projects. Um, maybe we can look at the, at the screen, they're on the screen. Um, see there's like 20, 30 different projects that we're invested into at any one time. Because when Bitcoin goes down, something else goes up. And we want to make it smooth, balance out the volatility, and make people make money very simply, very safely. Okay, so you use an interesting technology to buy it, the dips. You kind of have prediction of where the market is going to go. Because, you know, a few weeks ago happened like this really big dip and a lot of my crypto friends came to me just like telling me and I, I put my hand on the grass and all the ants running away you know it's like I know dude it's, it's, um, it's hard when those moments come but market corrects eventually yeah and you, you've been um, fortunate enough to have a lot of big funds uh, putting their capital and you, you work on a management fee yeah like it's only 2% management fee where you you allocate their portfolio, diversify them based on, as you said, Bitcoin goes up, some altcoins go up. Yeah. And then it's kind of all a game of speculation that you do so well. Yeah. What's the secret behind it? Is like, is there an AI, some analyst? What, what's, what's, what's your secret, man? It's, it's very old school, man. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I first started in the stock market when I was 19. I didn't know anything. Um, so I talked to people who'd been in the stock market before me, they were 50 years old, and I looked at charts and studied and see that things happen in patterns. And so when you know stocks go up, stocks go down, property goes up, property goes down, you start to see patterns over like decades and years. So I became very, very good at predicting stock markets and property markets because of what had gone before. So my first book I wrote in 2006 and said there's going to be a property market crash, there's going to be a stock market crash. Two years before the GFC, right? I knew that, not because I can predict the future, but because I was watching the patterns from before. And in 2019, you can have a look on our, on our website. In 2019, we wrote a newsletter to our investors and said, get out of stocks. September 2019, we said, get out of stocks, buy gold, buy silver, buy Bitcoin. We knew there was going to be a stock market crash because there was little patterns occurring. We just didn't know when or why. And then six months later, the pandemic came. Stock market crashed. Gold went up 50%. Silver went up 100%. Bitcoin went up 460%. And people you were go... talking to aliens. Come on. Give yeah, us yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you mean, know the future, right? We, we, yeah. we look at what's happened in the past. And that, yeah. that's our trick for investing in crypto is because we've been in the stock market for many, many years. We recognize the patterns. Um, there were some of our competitors, we started in 2016, a few of our competitors started in like 2020, you know, 2019, um, but they were crypto bros. They didn't understand the market cycles and as a result they went super duper bankrupt. So we know, you know, I, I probably shouldn't mention their names, but there was like four or five big competitors with like a hundred billion dollars who went broke because they didn't realise the market goes up and down, they played with leverage, we don't do any leverage. You know, it's very simple. We buy well, we hold on to it. We bought Solana when it was 30 cents. We hold on, it goes up oh, to $100. Right. We take some profits, we rebalance, you know. So you do extraction for clients as well, and you do this, yep. this basically man, uh, market making by, by getting in early on the dips and then exiting. So you don't yep. do um, short positions in that way where, where you're like no. speculating on, on, on that, which is... Um, yeah, I fully understand. And you mentioned like precious metals and then things that are like, you know, assets that are, have been always since like the beginning of time has always been steady and growing steady yeah. without that volatility that crypto brings. But 
yet your, your portfolio is like predominantly focuses on Bitcoin. I saw like at least 41% of the portfolio yeah. allocation is, and then you have some other ones. You mentioned Sol, Solana, yeah. what, what other, what other uh, things are there without any financial yeah, yeah. advice? Yes, yeah, we yeah, must yeah. Let's give a, our, our, our yeah. statement that so this is any, not anybody a financial can, device, right? Okay, guys. Anybody can copy our portfolio because we're completely transparent. So yeah, we've got 40% in Bitcoin because Bitcoin is literally 50 to 60% of the market. So obviously that's where we want to be. We're trying to replicate the market, but do a little bit better. Um, so we'll invest in those. We, we invest in ICP, you know, we invest in Pendle, we invest in Akash, we invest in Arweave. Like whatever's going well, whatever's looking good, whatever we think is good value, we will buy it, we'll hold it. We don't take short positions. If we don't like the project, we simply don't buy it or we sell out. And you mentioned ICP, which is really interesting way how, how people can, how we can support people to understand the market here. So ICP, Internet, yeah, Computer Protocol mm. has, has had a lot of adoption, around, a lot of utility, a lot of community that has had been building on their chain. Yeah. And all these projects, they're using their coins and tokens as a utility, as a, yeah. even security. So does that drive the market value overall in a long period of time, that reputation and trust and community that comes and interacts? Is that where you see adoption, like Solana, for example, mm -hmm. started a lot of kind of interesting things that's like very, cheap to transact yes. where like a lot of meme coins came but you know we all know that meme coins don't actually have like intrinsic value we were talking yeah. about intrinsic value some of them like dodge and things mm. you know you can laugh about it but some big people come in yeah like elon musk for example we we spoke to earlier speaker about this joke but there are also other good meme coins but what icp does is like genuine business right mm. we have probably 150 hackers here in CoinPast Asia yeah. hacking, developing ideas. Does that mean that like maybe new hundred businesses will come out out of that using that and that will influence the market? Is that like oh, a basis of your, your concept, right? Yeah. I mean, when, when Solana came out, they said, we're going to be like Ethereum, but we're going to be cheaper and faster and better. And they were a new company. Ethereum had been around for a while, obviously. So we just put 1% of our money into Solana and thought, you know, if we lose, if it disappears, if it doesn't go good, we've only lost 1%, it's okay. But if it suddenly goes very well, which it did, then it becomes 15% of the portfolio. And then we sell life on and we re rebalance. So, I mean, ICP, obviously, great people running it. Um, hi, Amelia. Um, <laughs> and a lot of good people working on it. And that's one that's actually making money. I mean, we, because we're, we're old school, we invest in stocks, that's how we learned. So when we invest in a project, we make sure that it makes money. None of the meme coins make money. You know, Dogecoin doesn't make money. But they're more like bump, bump and up. But what you're saying, like you're taking this traditional approach of stock investing mm -hmm. and you're doing like well, what, what was a classic venture capitalist would say, like I'm doing a proper due diligence. Who are the people behind it? Yeah. And then what was their background, how they're developing business for their longevity, basically. You're looking for longevity and, uh, and adoption to see that uh, market potential in value. And you get in at 1%, like you did with Sol, and then yeah. as soon as it lifted, you go in another 15%. So this yeah. is kind of the strategy that's like good for a long term. You're like a hodler, aren't you? Yes, very much, very much. So we, we buy projects, like we bought like Bitcoin, obviously, 10 years ago. Um, we bought Power Ledger 10 years ago. Yeah, we bought Ethereum 10 years ago. And these projects we're still holding. Now we do sell off some if it goes up too high and we buy back in when it, when it drops down. So ICP you know, went from here, way up to here, and then came down. So we started buying more when it was down, when it was having a 90% off sale. And I, I see you spoken about patterns. I see like every November, every year, market goes down like now. And I call this a Black Friday because it's a sale, you guys yeah. get in, you know? And I, that, that's like my, my, my thing. Yeah. Uh, but that's very interesting. You brought a lot of things here. Maybe maybe some of these people would like to pick up. I, I saw some amazing pens. We have some cool uh, umbrellas um, yeah. that look like glasses, some nice, nice kind of um, goodies. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got lots of swag. We got hats and shirts and you know, the, the forever pens. It's like a, a pencil, sorry, that lasts forever. It doesn't have graphite. Like it, it literally lasts forever. It's an alloy. It's a metal alloy. It writes on paper. 
but never sharpen it. Got some lo lots of cool things. Yeah, so guys, if, if anybody wants to have some really good uh, swag, uh, <laughs> come meet Jeremy after this talk. Uh, Jeremy, lastly, I would like to offer you some tea. Thank you. And um, once you have your tea, you can take your tea coaster. What we do here is um, you, you choose your you choose your thing. Yeah. And underneath, there is a question. There's just a random question okay. that you get to answer. You read it out and you answer it. Okay, the random question. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Oh, man, that's so good. Um, best piece of advice I've ever received would have to be the Benjamin Franklin. Okay. Who said, empty your purse into your brain and your brain will fill your wallet. So in, in my entrepreneurial, like this is my 13th startup, right? I've, I've swung big, like I start a business and if it goes well, I make millions and if it doesn't go well, I've literally been homeless three times, wow. right? And you start again and you start again, you, you start again. You keep grinding, yeah? That's what yeah. we call start a grind, right? But <laughs> in, if, I, if I end up homeless and, and broke, it's only for a short time because I know how to start another business. I know how to have good ideas. I know who to work with to create the million dollar value. So right. people who want to invest in you know, this widget or that widget or something else, invest in your own education because your education will make you a fortune for the rest of your life. Oh, wow, Today. what amazing advice. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Lastly, how do people find uh, Boston Trading? Where do they go? How do they sign up or how do they copy your portfolio strategy? <laughs> yeah, it's just bostontrading.co not .com, just CEO, bostontrading.co. You can have a look at the portfolio on there. So whenever we buy anything or sell anything, we trade anything, we update the portfolio in real time. So on the hour, every hour, you can check how much cash we're holding, how much you know, ICP we're holding. We believe in being fully transparent. There is many scams out there in crypto. There's also many scams in the stock market. Now, there's been yeah. many, many scams. So we believe in being fully honest at all times. And whether you invest with us or whether you don't invest with us doesn't matter. You can copy what we do because we do it safely, we do it simply, and at least you won't lose money. Because in 10 years, we've made hundreds of thousands of different trades, hundreds of thousands of different investments. We've never had a single coin go to zero. Never a rug pull, never a scam coin because we do our homework and we invite other people to do the same. Amazing. Well, thank you for setting up the path for everybody else. Uh, thank you for having tea with me and thank you to Gil Petersil for for connecting us. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Stay tuned, guys. We have more to come from the CoinFest here at ICP stage, having chatty calls. Ciao. I wasn't expecting some of those. Yeah.